Hot 105, y'all make some noise for the queen, Mary J. Blige. Thank you. Mary, it is a pleasure. How does it feel when you see your fans just come out in droves for you? It feels so good. I feel so loved and I just, it makes me feel special. <laughs> like, if I feel good. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's one of the many things they love about you because you're just real. I mean, just looking at you right now and seeing, seeing you with them, I can see the humility just pour out of you right now. Well, it, it is humbling because yeah. I am them. We, yeah. we are, we live a lot of the same things, you know, although I might be here, but we, you know, what or look like I'm here. Right. It doesn't mean, doesn't mean I, have, I don't have issues and things that go on in my life that we all can relate to. Right. And then I have happy times too. Like we all do. Everybody have happy times, sad times, but you, you always want someone that can relate to you on a level. And mm-hmm. I, I'm so thankful that I've been able to relate to my fans and, and remain human, re, remain touchable. Right. Because they are the ones that, you know, for the 20-something years I've been doing this, they have gotten me here. You know, mm-hmm. without them, there is no show. There is no record buying. There is no radio station and talking to you. Right. So... I, I, it is humbling, right. and I appreciate them. Now, speaking of happy and sad, you know, as you mentioned, some people always go back to you know where you were years ago. Yeah. When you when you sing and you speak uh, today, are you going back? Or are you speaking about other people's pain that you have encountered? I'm speaking from my own pain. Uh-huh. <laughs> like I'm, I'm a human being. Although I have a Mary J. Blige, the superstar, with. What people forget is that I'm human, mm-hmm. and my life is not all poppy, happy, happy, happy all the time. My life is real. That means right. there's a balance, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm happy because I'm living. That's the most amazing thing, the gift of, of life that God gave me. Right. That's, that's everything that makes me smile. But what comes with that and being appreciative of your life is challenges. Right. You know, doubts and this and that and that. And that you know, everything that you have to face and, and um, challenge and, over, and overcome. So, I mean, people... I'm human, man. That's all I can say. I'm not going to keep explaining. I'm right. human. I'm human. I'm human. Exactly. You know, I just, you know, I understand the balance of life. Mm-hmm. In a typical day of Mary J. Blige, what makes Mary happy? Great food. Oh, yeah. Great people. Uh-huh. I love great people. I don't like no horrible energy and stupidity. Right. I'm, I, I can't do it anymore. I'm, I'm not that young anymore. Right. <laughs> and I'm not that old either. I just don't. I'm just in a space in my head where I need to have positive energy around me in order to do what I'm doing and get to the next level and sustain and not just be stuck. I don't mm. want to be stuck. So I can't do that. And great friends. You know, my family makes me happy. I make me happy a lot because I spend a lot of time by myself getting to know myself, taking responsibility for my, my, my actions, good, mm. bad. And that, that makes me make me happy. <laughs> Speaking of great food, what what's your favorite food? What is your favorite food? My mama's food, soul food. <laughs> <laughs> like the the stuff that just sticks to your ribs, yeah, huh? Yeah, I love That's that. And stuff. sushi. I love sushi. So have you have you had a chance to go anywhere in Miami to any of the soul food spots yet? No, I haven't. Like every time I come here I'm always looking for a good soul food spot and they send me to a a, a nice West Indian spot. Kelly, where so should I, she go? <clears throat> uh she could get spoons up in Fort Lauderdale on nineteenth street. Spoons, really? Spoons on nineteenth street. That's okay, and we're going to go there after this. <laughs> <laughs> Some good stuff. Mm-hmm. So let's talk about the London sessions. Mm-hmm. Clearly, you made this album in London. Why yeah. London of all places? Well, this has been the question of Everybody <laughs> asks this of question, all the right? Questions. Well, I don't know if you know, I, I started um, experimenting and venturing off with some club music and uh, these uh, club, got, club music uh, uh-huh. producers called Disclosure. Right. I did a remix with them mm-hmm. for, for their song, F for You. They released it in London. It exploded because you know I was the big you know remember how Martha Wash used to be the big voice Absolutely. on so I wanted to experiment and be the big voice on the club records with Disclosure and it blew up over there and then they wow. put it out over here and it blew up over here so the whole idea that I was going to experiment with is do a club album like an EP with Disclosure and uh-huh. go and go to London and do it with them so at the time I was um just getting out of my contract with uh Interscope and I was talking to Steve Barnett, who's the head of Capitol Records, about being signed there, which is where I'm signed now. And I was telling him the idea about doing the EP with Disclosure. And he said, well, Mary, that's an excellent idea. But how about we take you, put you in London, not only with Disclosure, because you're bigger than just club music, mm-hmm. and have you write with Sam Smith and Emily Sandy and, and have Naughty Boy produce. And these are all the upcoming, you know, cutting edge young talent that's out there right. and called the album The London Sessions. And I was out there for a month. We finished the album in three weeks because right. these kids are amazing. Like <laughs> we had so much chemistry. Things just 
was over. The process was over in three right. weeks. I know that must have been pretty therapeutic for you, too. I mean, just being over there, you know, always spending time in the U.S., but going there. What are the mm-hmm. London fans like? They're just like us. Right. What I love about them is if you're not, if they're not going to give you anything for free. Mm-hmm. If you're not giving your best, your 250% or your 1,000% of what you can give, they, they're going to let you know this is not it. And what they love about what they love, they love soul. Right. They, they've been loving soul since soul to soul <laughs> right, right. came from over there and loose ends, you know. Mm-hmm. So they love us for who we are. They accept me for who I am. I don't have to prove to, to them I'm anything but Mary J. Blige. And um, that's that's what I did over there. And it was just, yeah, it was very therapeutic just to be in one place re- recording an album. And that's it. Mm-hmm. When I'm home, I got to think about this. I got to think about that. I got to take this meeting. I got to take that call. I was just. I felt like a kid, like during the What's the Four One One album when I was right. recording because that's all I had to do. It was, it was so much fun. You recorded "Stay with Me" uh, by Sam Smith. Mm-hmm. Is, is Sam just as as soft spoken as, as he is on the yes, song? Yes, yeah. he is. He's such a sweetheart. <laughs> right. He's sweet. He's real. He's down down to earth. Um, he's just he's a beautiful person, and mm-hmm. I wouldn't say that if that wasn't the case. He's a really pe- people would love him right. to sit and talk to him. It's just easy, like talking to me. You mm-hmm. know, he's he's real. Right, Mary. What what are some of the um, what are, what are going to be some of the su- surprises on this uh, upcoming album? Um, the only there there aren't any like surprise mm-hmm. guests. I mean, Sam singing background on like therapy and uh, nobody but you. But um, the only surprise is like the music beds. Mm-hmm. You know, they're a little different. But I think my fans will remember Deep House from back in the days. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, the ballads, the way ballads used to be, you know, really strong, a lot of instrumentation, not a lot of tracks, not any tracks really at all. And I, it's a lot of, I, I experimented with some club music and it's, it's fun. Like, so I'm having fun, but the message is still Mary J. Blige. The DNA is Mary J. Blige completely. You know, it's me. My, the tone of my voice is very distinct. You know, it's me. You feel everything I feel is there. Hot 105.